Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to continue with episode 3 of our Pokemon Legends Arceus series here on the channel. Um, last episode we kind of got some uh, new clothing, we also went and did our first trial. Um, and we're just going to kind of keep going. So let's kind of talk to all these little people and see uh, if there's anything else we can kind of get. Okay, so I gotta show her Starly's Pokedex entry. Okay. Ooh, this is about Shinx. I mean, I have a Shinx. Some potions. Potions are nice. Oh, I've just realized I wasn't even reading uh, out loud. I am so sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, that's cool. General store, hairdresser. farm over there I didn't even know there was more okay so that's where the pasture is at and another request over here I kind of want to go exp see the rest of the village so is this essentially like our Pokemon boxes Hmm. Curious how that works. Okay. So I need a big weasel. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of good to know that this is uh where the pasture is at. I know that's obviously something in the game. Okay, let's go to Obsidian Fieldlands. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, uh... There are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Which research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and a variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you focus onto a wild Pokemon in the field using ZL button, you can instantly check the research task of the species by pressing down the down button to open up your Pokedex right to see that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. Huh, okay. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. 
Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Twitch. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. That beautiful flowing bit of gym gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of a Pokemon's attack. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beat and then blacking out in the wilderness. The reserve the security corpse had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx, Shinx's Thundershock. But don't you worry. I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Now let me share some Survey Corp Wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press down to open the Pokedex. You'll see what task you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoofs you caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. And then when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items, Press X to get ready to your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. So there's the dodge for us. Okay, so that opens up the Pokedex for this Pokemon. So we've got to catch. We have to catch heavy. We got to defeat some different forms we've attained because there's the different genders okay let's go ahead and uh, start catching Just love Cyndaquil. Okay, so we've caught some Bidoof. Probably should have battled some too. Yeah, I gotta evolve one too. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research task for it. It's just the ZL then down. Try checking your task for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. Okay, so here we go. So caught without being spotted and defeated in different forms because male and female.
And of course I uh Alright, let's press that so I don't end up doing that on accident. Trying not to be seen. Ooh, there's a Shanks. Another Shanks. I'm sitting. I've gotten a few new moves. Let's kind of go take a peek at that. Okay. Forgot that's how you move over. Check summary. Okay, so you got tackle. I'll leave Gust up top. All right, let's go explore a little bit more. Just because I'm not ready to head to where we need to go. Maybe we can run into some other Pokemon. Oh, there's Wurmple. I needed a Wurmple. Just grab a few of them. I mean, let's just keep going, I guess. Medicinal leak, I'll take that. That's a very angry looking Snorlax. All right, we're not gonna go that way. I feel like that might be a little out of our, uh, our reach right now. Alright, 
there's a wormhole back here. Some wood, I'll take that. Ooh, another shanks. Okay, number defeated. We're gonna have to defeat 15 of them. All right. Ooh, quick attacks. potion up I am happy that Cyndaquil still has his flames right there Another angry looking Pokemon. We're not going to mess with that. Oh. Let's go for a strong. Let's go for an Agile. And let's just finish it off with the normal Quick Attack. Keep it moving. Looks like the only other thing I was able to catch is just the Wurmple. I didn't know straying away was a thing. I figured it would have like stopped me before getting too far. All right. Um. Fortunately, I think we're gonna have to switch to one of our other team members. Unless we can go back to the camp. Which the camp should just be right up here, shouldn't it? Yes. Ooh, item storage. Craft.
use a rest. Perfect. Let's continue. And just the shinks over there. I can just jump off cliffs now. There's a few starly. I'm just going to kind of sneak up behind him. Ooh. That was a weasel. Around here you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves just like Shinx and you'll need to battle it to catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage goes away over time but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have been turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. And speaking of which, your research task for Buizel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right, some tasks require battling. Now I'll go on ahead. You take care of some of the Weasel's research task, then I'll come talk then come talk to me. Okay. So we want probably shanks. Like just quick attack, we don't want to kill it. I think he could live another. Alright, let's go ahead and try to catch him. Weasel. Honestly, I think I might just. Oh, there's some more Weasel. That guy looks pretty big too. OK, 
Okay, I definitely got a large. Awesome. A couple more buizel for me. I did see there's another across the river. All right, now let's check. Um, we gotta just fight some, so let's go ahead and start with that. Oh, I forgot it has rollout. I really forgot about rollout. Well, let's also use rollout. Say he's in the grass. There he is. Oh, that's right. They knocked the Pokeball. All right, let's uh, let's just go. Him no longer being pursued. Let's fight a Wurmple on the way. And here she is. You're really doing quite well for yourself. Here's a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. I obtained a crafting kit. So it contains everything I might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can, can only use the materials you have in your satchel. So, I mean, that's going to be helpful for, like, you know, crafting Pokeballs on the go. Got a potion recipe. All right. Okay, so I'm almost done with the ember part. And then I got to do more agile and strong moves. I feel like the Bidoof and Starly is going to be the easiest ones to do. Please report back to the pre pre 
back to Professor Lovington once you've done some research tasks good and done. All right, so this is pretty much the wrap up point, but I wanna go ahead and report back to the professor real quick. And then we'll kind of call it there. So if you guys did enjoy the episode, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Um, next episode, we're just going to kind of keep on doing our thing. We'll probably see what Pokemon we have to work with and kind of set up a little bit more of a team, I guess, just because, you know, we really don't have a team set up. Uh, so we'll kind of be working on that too, just throughout the next few episodes. Um, and just kind of go from there. So we have made it to the professor. Okay. You must have listened. Yep. Okay. When, she's, when you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you've fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research task you've completed thus far. That's a lot of Pokemon. A lot of Wurmple. Quite a few Starly. Good haul. Alright, total Pokemon caught. 20 or more Pokemon in one report. Achieve different... Pokemon species, Pokemon caught for the first time, Pokemon using, or Pokemon caught using a backstrike. Okay. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update your Pokedex with this new data. Okay. By carrying out a uh, research task and submitting survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encountered. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete and you will be have unlocked all of the detailed information to be had about the species. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokedex. Once you earn a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So, I've got two Pokemon complete. But I still don't have Starly complete. Pretty close though. Yeah, anyway. Okay. You've made good progress on the research test twitch i do believe you're ready to move up the ranks let's head back to the village and report the good news to captain celine it's time you earned yourself a star maybe i should have waited to talk to the professor okay perfect we'll go ahead and save here in the next episode we will uh go talk to captain celine and we'll also, I think between episodes, I'll kind of see what Pokemon we have. And I'll just kind of um, see what I can make of a team and whatnot. But with that, I hope you guys have a good one. And I will see you in the next episode. See ya.